I want to show you a new way people are raiding servers and scamming people on Discord, and it's all Discord's fault. All of this has happened because Discord left this specific thing on for everyone. A whole bunch of my viewers reached out to me talking about a newish Discord exploit going around. But this guy says you're able to implement or add any bot to any server without actually having to add admin permissions. But he points out that you can spam chats, which is quite funny. And spamming chats is exactly what people did. Because unfortunately, remember this day, September 20. Fifth, the Lana Del Rey server was raided by a group of people that my one of my viewers snitched out to me. Oh no, Dad's cord got raided. No, what are we ever gonna do about the, the most down bad, deliriously horny Discord server? But this is a ginormous server that is dealing with this new raiding method. In fact, this whole entire channel, you know one of those like old teachers that you have that have awards and stuff hung up behind them in the Zoom call? These guys do the exact same thing, but not the boomer version. They just show a screenshot of every single raid that they did, so we have a 15,000 member server, a 71,000 member server. No, not chill heaven with 561,000 members. Yeah, either I'm too old for this sh or I haven't been thrown down the stairs repeatedly by my mother as a child like these guys have. However, I want to be honest with you for a second. The people that are doing this, definitely young folks, because they use the bot to send I have infinite aura, I can't be banned, and Thomas Shelby Sigma. So yeah, the people that are raiding these servers are just young folks that have no frontal lobe, and this guy actually has a little bit extra. He has fat fingers, so he must be a chunky monkey. So servers are being raided big and small, and these messages are seemingly innocent, but eventually these raids get to a point where it's not just people promoting their their stupid server. In this case, they sent a gif of someone, uh, uh, Shane Dawsoning their dog. So yeah, I'm gonna do society a favor and just, uh, submit report. Now, unfortunately for me, I wanted to investigate this Discord bot and see if there is some sort of crazy exploit where these people can hack into Discord servers. And unfortunately, I couldn't get access to this Discord bot because either it was so masterly coded that only God himself would be able to wield the power of this Discord bot, or the Discord bot just got deleted or banned by Discord. So in the case of this Discord bot, the trail ran cold for a whopping five seconds because I found this Discord bot here which has the command flood and it has things in Russian and hopefully there's nothing bad uh, in Russian. I'm not Google translating this because I'm lazy. But with this command, I can flood messages inside of a channel. Now I'm going to do an original joke on like those guys with their Sigma, Riz, Rizzler, whatever. And when I send the commands, the bot will spam Fortnite 911 five times. And if I did this on repeat over and over again, then I would be raiding this Discord server. And I'd also be showing you that I have the mental intelligence of a 10 year old. And in fact, I can only do five because because if you want to do six messages, you need to buy VIP. These guys want you to spend money on their shitty Discord bot. This is the easiest thing to program. But in terms of these people raiding these Discord servers, all they're doing is just using a bot to spam a whole bunch of messages. However, this is where things get a little more serious, because if I'm able to send the message Fortnite 911 on any Discord server, maybe I could use that same feature to get a Discord bot to send a scam message and scam a whole bunch of people. And who would have thunk it? There's no such thing as an original thought. Because another viewer reached out to me talking about how there is an unbannable bot. This person thinks that this is a potential zero-day exploit. There is a Discord bot called Discord, which apparently is sending sketchy links. This big company has still not figured out a way to stop people from making a bot called Discord. And the way they're able to make a bot called Discord is because if you go to your Unicode character detector and you paste in Discord, you can see this C and O aren't original C's and O's that you would type on your keyboard. These are like weird symbols that look like C and O, and that's how these people are bypassing Discord system. Because if you do try making a Discord bot called Discord, Discord will say no. And if you have a custom Discord font, you can see the, the C and O are completely different. And again, I wasn't able to actually access the bot, but if you look at some of the features of it, I have a free nitros command. So this is a bot made to scam people. But this Discord bot did something a little bit different. Instead of promoting a free nitro scam, it promoted... Oh baby, it's back. Solara is back. The legendary Solara returns. The best free Roblox executor that unlocks endless possibilities for all Roblox users. It's level 8. What does that mean? Uh, good question. And if you had the intelligence of a pet rock, you would click download on this thing, run it on your computer, and congratulations, you just got hacked. And how do I know? Because I covered this exact same scam before. The fake Solara executor, which, when you run it, steals all your usernames and your passwords, and then people use it to either take all your Robux or to extort you. And and the unfortunate thing is that people do fall for this because these scammers wouldn't waste their time making this Discord app and sending the scam out if people didn't fall for it. And specifically, these scammers even verified the Discord bot, which means they sent either their ID, which would be really funny if they did, or they sent some random person's ID on the internet that probably got stolen to Discord so that they could verify their bot. All of that so it looks just a little bit more legitimate for people so that they'll click on it and get their computers hacked. So finally, it's time to answer some questions. How is this all happening? 
and how is it Discord's fault? Now here's the thing, Discord did try to fix this problem, but then they still f***ed up at the very end. If you go on a channel with slow mode and you try running the flood command, it's gonna send the first spam message from the bot, but any other message is gonna say, only you can see this message, it is an ephemeral message, I can barely say that word, I'm surprised I got it, and it'll say you are sending messages too quickly, because these Discord bot messages are constrained by the slow mode in the channel. So all of those raids that happened, if you just had slow mode, um, it, the raid would look like this, a bot sending one message. Now, there are some cases where people have had this happen and they were trying to figure out who sent the message, because if you look at it, you can't see who sent the message. It's replying to someone who sent a command and the command is deleted. What's going on? Well, Discord has added a feature where you can right click the message and you can click view interaction info and you can see the user that installed the bot and triggered the message, which would allow you to narrow down who sent the spam message or the scam message and then you can ban them. Because remember, everyone was struggling. They were trying to ban the bot, but they weren't able to. But this is where we get to Discord's biggest up with this feature. Because there is a way to prevent people from using Discord bots in your server. All you need to do is go to your server settings, go to roles, go to your everyone role, then just search for external apps and then disable this permission. And I'm going to try and run the flood command. The bot spams, but you can see all of these messages are highlighted in blue and it's because they're ephemeral. If I go back to my other account, you can see that there's only that one spam message, not the spam, but I changed perms. The issue though, is that this permission is enabled in every single Discord server by default. Discord decided out of their infinite wisdom, having this enabled by default was the best option. Even in community servers, I don't know what they're thinking. And that's why so many of those servers were raided by these random people, because no one knew that this functionality popped up and they didn't know they had to disable it. And I'm not just making things up out of thin air, by the way. There's someone who literally said, is this a new feature, by the way, because I've never seen this before up until yesterday. And again, they're also equally confused like I am that it is by default turned on for everyone on the everyone role, which is a weird thing to do. So if you own a Discord server, make sure to double check your permissions. And when I say double check, I really do mean double check. There are some people who, again, made video suggestion posts saying that there's some sort of bypass going around because this person said they're almost 100% sure that they disabled the permission, they have it turned off, yet they still had a Discord bot that spammed a whole bunch of their chats with, oh, beautiful NFT crypto scam. Anyways, that's all I got. Bye bye. I love you. Mwah.